Jamie with Coastal Business Supplies. In this video, we are going to go over setting up your Sawgrass Print Manager as well as your Sawgrass SG400-800 printer. So let's get started. First, we are going to go to your internet browser and type in sawgrassinc.com. Next, once the page loads, you're going to go to download software on the main header, click there, and then click on SPM for Windows. Open when done when the installation pops up and wait for it to unpack the data. This is a long process, so it can take a few minutes for everything to properly unload. Next, you're going to select your language, make sure all components are selected and click install. You're going to want to reboot now. Once you click reboot now, click finish. Once your system has rebooted, you will find your Sawgrass Pit Manager icon that is located on your desktop or in your Windows settings. You're going to agree to the license. You are going to enter in your email and password that you created when registering on sawgrassinc.com. Next, you're going to choose the printer model that you have. Click install. You're going to agree to the terms. You're going to add a new printer. Connect USB cable. Make sure your USB cable is disconnected from your computer and your printer is turned off at this point. Now, connect your USB cable and turn your printer on. This will auto connect, so you don't need to do anything here. Just wait for connection. Choose default or no default. Choose your settings for your status monitor. You're going to want to set now for settings. If you notice that your input tray for tray one is incorrect in size, you're going to want to select the paper size, select modify input tray paper size, select OK, select update now, make sure it has changed, and then select OK. Now select finish. Again, you're going to find your Sawgrass Print Manager on your desktop or in your Windows icon. Make sure your printer is there and select your ink set. Make sure your printer is enabled and hit save. Next, you're going to run your Sawgrass Print Manager again. This program will run by your clock or your hidden icon. Click on the icon for settings. Now we're going to go to Creative Studio. You will use the same login information for Creative Studio that you use to register. There are a few options here for Creative Studio, Favorites, Galleries, Creations, Home. We are going to start creating. There's a few options that Creative Studio has. First, you can choose your custom print area if you would like. Make sure it is in inches and you choose the correct canvas size that you're needing. You also have grid that you can add guidelines you can take off, you can select different aspects of your design, you can trash or you can start new. Or you could save, download, share, and of course print. You have the option of choosing blank products. There is a wide range of blank products in this program. You can do elements. Sawgrass has a lot of different elements that you can choose that have already been in there and they are free. You can also go to designs and creations for premium content galleries where you can upload images or you can upgrade to get the premium content that sawgrass has created for design space so we have our image now we're going to choose our blank product we are going to choose a coaster size appropriately on the image you do have other options you can do text duplicate so take advantage of those as well we're going to make sure our printer is selected. Make sure our tray is selected as the correct tray if you are not using a bypass tray. 
Select the proper size that is in your printer at the moment. Mirror your image if required. Deselect auto print. For materials, there are a few items that you can choose from in the product category. We are going to stick with Unitha products here. Again, for paper, there are a few different options. There's Jekyll DHS that has a 50% reduction time and 40% ink savings, as well as Text Print R. If you purchase our ImageRite R, or if you have the package, we do include the ImageRite Text Print. For print quality, we're gonna choose high quality. For color mode, we have photographic, profile we use for photographs. We have Vivid, profile with added saturation compared to photographic. We have graphic, which is a profile with added saturation compared to photographic, useful for artwork or graphic images, such as logos. Grayscale, grayscale profile. Cool gray, similar to grayscale. And classic. We're gonna make sure our color palette is on color shirt and hit print. It is going to let us know our print has been successfully queued. We are waiting for the Sawgrass Print Manager to pull up now. This can take roughly up to a minute, so be patient. Once the Print Manager has pulled up, we are going to go through a few different settings. You have material, layout, jobs, color. There is a circle that you will find next to the printer. This will go off between black and green. Green meaning ruddy, so make sure that when you print, it is in green mode. For material, we are going to again work with Unisub products. For paper, we're going to work with text print paper. We are going to either choose preserve layout from designer. Designer normally used for Photoshop or Corel or any design program. In this case, we are going to choose print manager performs layout. Our page size is selected. We can choose our spacing. We can trim white space center or put blue lines on the image. For jobs, if you would like to gang up your images, you can add copies here to gang up images on one single page. For color, you have different options here. We are going to stick with Vivid in this case. Make sure your color adjustments are on zero and we are going to make sure our palette says color sure. We are going to print, we are in ready mode. So let's send to the printer. Another way that you can print using the Sawgrass Print Manager is to use Photoshop. So we're gonna show you how now. First, make sure you have the canvas size selected. We're going to go to print. As a printer, we're going to choose Sawgrass Print Manager. We're going to check our print settings, make sure that everything looks correct. And then we're going to select okay. Next, we're going to choose print. We're going to wait for the Sawgrass Print Manager to pull up at this point. Once the Sawgrass Print Manager has loaded, again, there are a few different options that you can go through to change. Make sure your printer is selected. Make sure that you do choose the correct substrate you are working with. Make sure you do choose the proper paper as well. Either mirror your image or don't mirror your image. On this, we are going to choose Preserve Layout from Designer. Again, you can choose multiple jobs and then Print Manager performs layout. For color, we're just going to go through the different variations of color. So as you can see, it does shift slightly. We are going to choose Photographic for this image. Make sure our palette says Color Sure and our color adjustments are on zero. We are ready for our printer, so we are going to click Print. Thank you again for watching our video tutorial today. We have gone over installing the Sawgrass Print Manager, as well as installing your SG400-800 printer. Also a brief overview of Creative Studio, as well as Photoshop. As always, if you have any questions, please contact our technical support department at 1-800-562-7760, option 3. Thank you for watching. See you next time.